Hi, I'm Magdalena. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. I have five books for you today. Um, I'm calling them Winter Journals. They've been inspired by the landscape. I'm calling them Winter Landscapes. They've been inspired by the landscape around me and um, yeah, uh, I will show you the covers first and then I'll show one or two journals inside. They are all very similar. So there is five of them and let's start. So this one is the crow. So you can see um, different crochet material, uh, cheesecloth and lace material here and then I free hand, free hand stitched on my machine the birds into the covers and plants. This is a print that I made on linen. It's a print of um, plant seed head made it acrylic paints so we have stitching, there is five signatures, six cent five centimeter spine. They are very chunky, loads of stitching, another printed linen panel here, and some fibers, another crow, and um, some uh, poppy heads and seed heads in here and the uh, book plate attached to the cover. The cover is sort of semi-soft. Everything is hand-dyed, um, hand-printed and stitched. The, this is matching this color and this closure is matching this one. Then we have really thick canvas underneath it and here more hand dyeing and this is the back. I hand dyed it with this marble effect for winter. The colors are turquoise, emerald, uh, brown, beige, white, sort of wintry colors. And also a bit muddy because it gets a little muddy in winter. Here is another um, canvas pocket, hand dyed with different fibers and crochet fabric with crow stitched into it. And then, um, right, let's get into this journal. And I'll show you the other covers later. So here we have corrugated cardboard, loads of stitching, loads of textile work, dyeing, stitching. Um, that's a pocket stitched onto this blue and white William Morris design paper. I put some photographs in there that go with the color scheme. I didn't want to put Christmas because I just don't do Christmas journals but I do like winter and obviously Christmas is in winter so you can use it for whatever you want. I love this aesthetic, I think it goes with the journals very well, the white, the black, the blue photographs. They are printed just on matte paper, you can write on them, they won't scratch like photographic paper. I just think it just it just goes well as journaling cards uh, here is a vintage map pocket hand dyed all papers are hand dyed with textile colors uh, dyes or um or a coffee and tea so here we have some seed heads and here i made little collage from some scrap canvas fabrics and I gessoed the seed head on it, stenciled with gesso so it sort of comes up. 
sewn it there. I will take all these tails off and tidy it all up. Don't worry, I just haven't done it yet. And now I'm thinking I should have, but bear with me. It will be all done. Craft paper. Um, here is over 100 year old poem, a vintage page from um, Walter Scott's book of poems. This is a vintage book page, this Winter Horse painting. It's an old book about horses and there were some prints and I didn't know what to do with them for a long time and I think that it goes very well with these journals. So I sewn it in into a pocket. The prints are vintage. All the book pages are original as always. I very rarely make copies of book pages. Sometimes I do, but I think in these books it's all original from actual books. Vintage map, another blue forest. Here is a seed head pressed and I am into beeswax with beeswax into this tissue paper um sealed in there sewn on this card and then sewn on this for a little tag with some with a strip of hand dyed fabric so that's a real seed head real specimen from my local park then i dyed i eco dyed some uh, papers cards so here is one of them that's the signature cover here is a print of seed head a vintage book page. I did go with the theme of birds in the Holden page because why not? I see a lot of birds in winter around here and here is one of my collages. It's an original artwork uh, stitched and just sewed winter landscape. The, I was inspired by these grasses. They grow near my river here and muddy snowy dried seed heads uh, along the river so that's the first of the original artworks in this one and uh, here is the other side of the eco dyed paper you can see the impression of the leaves here is another signature that I made. I stitched this crow into there with different fabrics and fibers and just so and I painted it black and it's all the outline is stitched into there and then with Indian ink I drew this goose flying and just saw this as a white winter sky and this is supposed to represent this lace is supposed to represent a field you see the lines like um, when you have field that the ground has just been turned for winter so you can see it's all stitched into the paper mushroom vintage book page here I just did some gesso and dye um, paper here is a page with um, eco dyed leaves original and different papers here is a book page and 120 gsm drawing paper another winter collage this is a sort of forest the beginning of forest or um, white bird silver birch forest and this is um, my handmade block, block that I carved, and some stencils, inking, fabrics, stitching. So that's another winter landscape. Book page and the other side of the leaves. So that's that. I think uh, we have about uh the let's say 
160 pages front and back possibly in the book 160 pages here I found um, oh this I drew this with Indian ink and I stamped my design that I carved of this winter hedgerow on, on there uh, this is design paper it's it goes with the color and it's like astro astrology no night time I think it's night time sky so that goes I love this this is beautiful they are free domain public domain photographs so I didn't print anyone else's images I didn't take my own they are public domain but I think this is absolutely stunning here is another vintage book page here is parchment paper I love that texture look at that that's beautiful foggy here is some just so and coffee page I think you can put your photographs on it or write on it you can do anything here is an envelope that I stenciled on and coffee dyed it gessoed and acrylic painted it it's sort of the colors of winter in Ireland I would say and so here see I see these birds created bluted um, in Ireland or in Europe a lot in winter we feed them and um, so that's why I included them here's a pocket and this is another textile artwork by me there is all different fibers printing printing and dyeing on fabric it's very tactile and soft uh, on linen and uh, embroidery French knots and some lace flowers uh, it's like a winter landscape it's sort of the flowers dying and everything being beige and brown and it's on a card and it's there is a pocket so yeah they are beautiful loads of detail a cheesecloth loads of dyeing so there is one of these in each book uh, on William Morris paper again this is William Morris design um, here is eco dyed fabric pocket raven I chose these um, bird book pages to, um, to match the covers so we have ravens so that's why we have raven here and silver birch paper pocket uh, loads of stitching another winter landscape I like these this I made this print I made this lino I carved this lino I like the empty poppy seed heads and stenciled some snowy some white chesso square patches of snow on stitched some linen fabric on there and then um, coffee gesso cheesecloth and some cardboard paper and then I stitched some dried plants into it sticks so that's another landscape, winter landscape. I'll, I'm gonna tidy all these up. And here we have beautiful photograph. And that's the end. The books are 20 centimeters high, 15 centimeters wide. They are very chunky, you can see all the pages, about 150 sides, I think. If I have, mm, 
nearly 200 because if I have 10, if I have 50 papers in there, that's 55, 4. Yeah, nearly 200 pages in each book. I would say about 170 pages in each book. So a lot. About 6 centimeters wide. That's about 2 and a half inches. Um, 20 centimeters and 15. It's really compact. It's a tiny little bit smaller than A5 or just A5. The pages are sort of packed in there and it's really nice to hold. It's very soft. It's not PVA glued or anything. It's very soft and chunky. Um, very comfortable. Right. So now we have this one. That's the blue tits. There is one here. There is another one here. You can see the print and all the fibers and textiles. And there is another bird here and some seed heads stitched in there. Yep. Closure. Another crow. Then you have the corrugated cardboard. This is this bird is bitten and the water birds and here we have loads of fibers and stitching again and uh, the vintage page sorry i have to put the charger in the vintage page with the winter landscape in uh, Highland Pony, so that's in Scotland. Look at that dramatic sky and the hills. Looks very cold. And then we have the three pieces of art. The landscapes we have the eco diet signature we have the fields this bird is not colored in you just have the outline uh, eco diet page and you know all the same pages here we have ducks the envelope and this has this work they're gonna be photographed on Etsy handmade hand stitched slow stitched piece of work here we have that collage with the stenciling another uh, uh, original artwork here they have three landscapes each Look, that's so beautiful. They have three landscapes each. There is same amount of everything in each book. Um, they have the stitched, slow stitched work. They have the three landscapes on paper, textile and paper landscapes. They have the same signatures. They have the same dried specimen. So nobody will miss out on anything. This is a stork and a heron. Stork, I know, goes to India for winter, so it's not really a winter bird, but uh, this one just didn't make it. I don't know why. I wanted to make a stork. I think they look great. And he just didn't go. So look, there is the stitching and I did put this this edge of the cheesecloth there so it sort of fluffs up makes this makes the print 3d I like the effect here and here we have some water grasses they are water birds uh, I printed a seed head here and 
and here we have a heron and more of this foggy, wintry, snowy, icy effect fabric, crochet fabric and lace and print two printed squares, one print and two pr second print on each book. Here we have the bread pocket again stitched. Here we have another button and we have X more ponies and then the, sig the ends of signatures are finished with one ceramic bead, one fabric square finish and two metal uh, ends. And on some books the ceramic bead is triangle and it's blue to go with the books. So another map. I picked the blue shades because it goes with the book, of course. And the same again. More of the same. These have crows there and landscape a eco printed page eco printed signature Look, this one is beautiful trees in the on the winter sky and let's find the textile textile piece of work is this Yeah, it's quite a lot of detail, quite a lot of work, quite a lot of hand stitching and textures and colors. Yeah, love that. So, everything is very secure. So another chunky one and here we have ducks and some uh, river grasses and the print book plate. Not ducks, geese, snowy geese. This one is taking off and they are flying in the sky. So there is four geese and loads of grasses on the ground and two printed squares again, hand dyed, hand printed. We have another crow signature here with specimen. We have this piece of artwork here, <coughs> textile, and this landscape, and this one, more of the same. So they are similar, they are just not the same, definitely not the same, a lot of original art in each book made yeah definitely time consuming but i love it but they are both they are a series so they have um, things in common but they are definitely each an original piece of art so oh and here we have a crow on that corrugated paper pocket they are not all the same it. And here is Shetland ponies in a winter landscape. So we have that. And bitten. So we have three bittens. So you can see one. I like how hidden they are. You can see one there. I love how they look up. Water bits. Another bitten is there. Then we have some river grasses on the spine and then we have another bitten standing here and a really beautiful print of seed head on linen and print of this seed head on this linen. Pretty, if I say so myself. Uh, 
another canvas pocket here seed head print and we have um, oh I didn't notice bitten is there as well didn't notice we have herons we have landscape we have eco printed signature and textile piece look at all these different fibers and techniques and eco dye pocket and look that goes with the cover little bitten so yeah each book has a page of birds that is relevant to the cover and this one is coffee dyed but same technique stitched outline and uh, here this is beautiful i love the wolf with the winter trees winter nighttime trees and the colors and these crooked trees and winter sky and the print not my usual color palette but it worked so well blue and brown worked so well here we have um heron silhouette this so beautiful winter trees seed heads yeah the snow there on the mountain cups this is fell and dale ponies british landscape brings memories and William Morris papers so that's my winter landscape books I will put them on my Etsy at 6 o'clock my time and I hope that everyone who will buy them will receive them I I will send everything with recorded delivery this time uh, to America recorded delivery is is standard now and Australia I had some problems with posting but there shouldn't be problems anymore but I will be sending things recorded delivery and if you want to order for Christmas then I think there is plenty of time usually it takes to America about eight days and Australia about two weeks in recent days it was a lot more I think it took to Australia a month and a half last time three weeks two months and a half but everything got everywhere that it needed to go so I think there is plenty of time before Christmas but you know coronavirus cannot really guarantee things but everything gets there in the end so thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it bye